Hello everyone out there in those Forex streets. This is your favorite trader, right? And your favorite educator? GG Miss Forex and chill. If I'm not, I should be because I'm getting ready to give you a free EA. All right guys, just kidding. So let's get into this. So a lot of you, your biggest problem with not getting funded or blowing your accounts is because you don't practice proper risk management. Some of you have invested in tools such as Magic Keys, or the Forex and Chill Trade Assist Lite, which is awesome, shameless plug. But some of you don't have one yet, or you're you're new to this kind of stuff. You're not you new to you're new to trading from MT4 and things like that. I really want you guys to be able to get funded. I really want you guys to stop blowing accounts. So I took the TA, the Trade Assist Lite, and stripped it down to a position size calculator. Some of you are using free position size calculators online. By the time you position your trade, you've missed a good entry. So this is going to make things easier for you. I'm not going to go into a full breakdown right now of how to install EAs. You can find a uh, hundred videos like that on YouTube. I'll do it later, but right now we're beta testing. I'm going to give you guys a free license key to use for like the next 30 days, unlimited on any accounts. You can share it with anybody you want to. It's going to be available via a free course on Forex and Shield Academy. Is there any catch? No. I'll update the license key again in 30 days after we've tested it to make sure there are no issues with this uh, position size calculator. So you're going to upload the EA. Remember it's an expert advisor so it's going to go in your expert advisor folder and you're going to open up your MT4. You are going to look over to your left under navigator underneath your market watch list and you're going to see Forex and Chill lot size calculator licensed. Okay. When I drag it onto my chart, let's go through the settings. Okay, it says about Forex and Chill lot size calculator. Common tabs, make sure you allow live trading. Inputs, we're going to go through the inputs now. Another key thing up at the left, auto trading has to be turned on. You see right now there's a smiley face. I had it on here before, but we're going to um, add a new one. The first thing you want is the license key that I'm going to issue you guys. The second thing says trading mode. All symbols means that this is going to apply to any trade that you take, regardless of what trade it is. It's going to apply to any trade that you take. Now, make sure if you have it on all symbols, it is only on one chart. If you have it on multiple charts, it's going to read it as you're sending multiple trades in. So make sure if you are on all symbols, that you only apply this to one chart. Now, if you want to put different settings per chart, you can go under all symbols and switch this to current chart, current symbol. Okay, so let's say that you trade indices and forex pairs differently, um, or maybe you have scalping trades and you have swing trades. Well, this is where you would use this. Now, if you have it on current symbol, it's only gonna run on that chart now you can put it on multiple charts, but you want to make sure each chart says current symbol. The first trading mode we have is fixed lot size, which means if I open a 0 .01 on my cell phone or my computer MT4 or MT5, that is going to be my master trade. The position size calculator, calculator is now going to open three additional trades. The first one at 0 .01 or whatever you put in there. 0 0.02 and 0 0.03. Like I could have this 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.25. I could have this one standard, half a standard, half a standard. So you're going to put this according to your lot size. Now lot size is not going to give you proper risk management. Proper risk management is going to come in, especially if you're using this on a prop firm and you want to use a risk management lot size and you want it to calculate, well, what is 1% of my trade? Well, now with the default settings, it's got 1%, 1%, 1%, which means it's going to open three trades at 1% of your account, which means you would have 3% running. Now, at the top and at the bottom, if you only want two positions, you would clear out the third position and put a zero. Down here, you would clear out the third position and put a zero. Again, everything I make is completely customizable. But to give you an example, I'm going to put the 0 0.03 back here. And going down to magic number, you only need to change those if you're running it on 
let's just say you have two different settings for US 30, a scalping one and a swing one, okay? Commission per lot, that's something that you would calculate based on your broker if you wanted to use that. Use manual risk to reward. If this is off, it's not gonna close your trades. If this is set to true, the first position that you open is gonna close at one R. The second position is going to close at two R. The third position is going to close at 3R. Now, the smart thing to do is when you open that first point zero one, is go ahead and close it out because it's not going to manage that trade. All right, so let's do a little demo. I got my use manual risk to reward set to true. I'm going to put use risk management lot size set to false. Now, you see I didn't put in a key code, so if I click OK, is telling me to please contact the seller. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a license key again for like 30 days and it's gonna be like this and you're gonna be able to use it on as many accounts as you want. So let's go back in and we're gonna copy and paste this. And you see the new license key. What you would wanna do is once you get your saving settings, you can save it as a set, that way it loads every time but for the, the purpose of speed, let's do this. Now just watch the bottom left. This is a little demo account that I test EAs on. I am going to open a trade on USD Swiss franc at 0 .01 from my phone. I'm going to put sell. Again, you cannot have rich reward without a stop loss. So when I put my stop loss in, it has opened the three additional trades, okay? You see it put the stop loss and it put the three TPs. That's one R, two R, three R. So it will automatically close these trades out, all right? So that's how simple this is. Let's try the other setting. If you close trades, always close that point zero one first or else it's gonna think you still have a master trade running. Let's change the settings let's say we want to put 1% here 0.5% here and 0.5% here make sure you set this to true now this is a small account so it might not open anything big but let's see and again we have the manual risk to reward turned on we're going to close that and I'm gonna take another trade. This time I'll go to USD Swiss franc and take a buy. You see it doesn't do anything. I have to give it a stop loss for it to open up additional trades. And again, you can do this on your cell phone or your computer. Once I put the stop loss now, bada boom, bada bing, it's gonna do its magic, calculate the lot sizes and look. It opened a position at 0.04 which is half a percent, 0 0.02, and a 0 0.02, which are both a quarter of a percent. And it also gave me my three TPs. Okay. Well, I took that back. It's closing. See, I just learned something about my um, EA myself. The first position, it will automatically close at TP1, 1R. But you see, now you have a nice trade set up for 3R. Beautiful, isn't it? And the most awesome thing about it is it's introducing you to EAs and it's free. It's free to anyone. And now the upgraded version is the Trade Assist Lite where it would do things like trail stops um, and all kind of fancy stuff. But this is the free version. It is just for risk management purposes, okay? It won't do any trail stops. It will set your 1R, 2R, and 3R. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy this. Merry Christmas from Forex and Chill Academy.